Understanding and applying content and function words in conversations. Hello, English learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson. Today, we are going to dive deep into the world of content and function words. We're going to learn about their significance, and most importantly, how to apply them in everyday conversations. So, let's get started. Content words are words that convey significant meaning or semantic content in a sentence. They include nouns, main verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. For example, in the sentence, John quickly runs to the park. John, quickly, runs, and park are content words. On the other hand, function words are essential to the grammar of a sentence, and they include prepositions, pronouns, auxiliary verbs, conjunctions, and determiners. For example, in the sentence, he is going to school. He is to and the are function words. They're usually less stressed in conversation. Understanding this distinction can help you grasp the rhythm and flow of English speech. Why is this important? Well, when native English speakers talk, they often stress content words while function words are usually spoken quickly and at a lower volume. This pattern creates the rhythm of English language. So, if you want to sound more fluent and natural, understanding which words to stress can be a game changer. Now, let's get some practice with these concepts. We'll start with a simple exercise. Exercise 1. I'll give you a sentence. Try to read it out loud, stressing the content words. Ready? Let's go. Lucy is going to the store to buy some apples. Did you stress? Lucy, going, store, buy, and apples. Great job! That's exactly what you should be doing. Exercise 2. Let's try another sentence. Mike was reading a fascinating book about history. Did you stress, Mike, reading, fascinating, book, and history? Wonderful! As you practice, you'll start to feel the rhythm of English. Remember, practice is the key to mastering this skill. That's it for today's lesson, guys. We hope this understanding of content and function words and how to stress them in conversation will bring you one step closer to speaking English like a native. Keep practicing and don't forget to join us in our next lesson for more exciting topics. Happy learning!